All of you know we won the popular vote in Iowa. We won the New Hampshire primary. And according to three networks in the AP, we have now won the Nevada caucus. After three months with a deep bench of candidates and no clear front runner, early voting states seem to be deciding who will lead the pack for the Democrats in 2020. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Rebecca Pryor. We begin with Bernie's big win. Senator Bernie Sanders taking the Nevada Democratic Caucus by a landslide. Events will now begin to unfold quickly in this race. What the other candidates are saying and is Sanders unstoppable at this point in our top story. Overnight, Senator Bernie Sanders clinching another victory with a decisive win in the Nevada caucuses and already focusing in on the next early voting states. Don't tell anybody. I don't want to get them nervous. We're going to win the Democratic primary of Texas. Entrance polls show Sanders as the top pick for the majority of Hispanic and young Democrats in Nevada. Latino voters, expected to be the largest minority group in 2020, will play a major role in the Democratic primary. In Nevada, we have just put together a multi-generational, multi-racial coalition, which is going to not only win in Nevada, it's going to sweep this country. But with the momentum, a wave of criticism from his more moderate rivals. Senator Sanders believes in an inflexible, ideological revolution that leaves out most Democrats, not to mention most Americans. Former Vice President Joe Biden, who was betting on this state for a comeback, finished in a distant second, telling his supporters he's now back on track. You all did it for me. Now we're going on to South Carolina and win, and then we're going to take this back. With the South Carolina primary now just six days away, the fight for the nomination intensifies. Not only is South Carolina an uh, important state and where we're going to have the next debate, but from there we go to Super Tuesday. We have a lot of states to go, and right now I can feel the momentum. So let's stay at this point. And if you were wondering what the other side of the aisle is thinking, Trump has actually been supportive of Sanders, both on Twitter and in a press conference this afternoon, congratulating the senator on his victory. I think it was a great win for Bernie Sanders. Uh, we'll see how it all turns out. They've got a lot of winning to do. We'll see what happens. But I congratulate Bernie Sanders. 